What's up, guys? Today, I'll showcase chat command creator add-in. To create a new chat command, type cmd, create. It says I don't have permission to use this cmd command. That's because I'm not an operator. Only an operator can use it. As you can see, I can now able to create chat command. But the operator can't detect in realms or server. So, you can assign yourself an operator tag to have a permissions. I remove my operator tag and still be able to use it. Now, let's create our chat command. Type cmd, create and then close this chat UI. And the chat command creator will appear. The chat command field is where you type your custom command name. Case sensitive toggle determines whether the chat command must be typed with case sensitivity. In my case, I don't want it to have case sensitivity, so I disabled it. Now, for cooldown in seconds field, this determines how long the cooldown the chat command will have. Having cooldown is used to prevent players from spamming it. I'll put 30 here to make it have a 30 second cooldown. This field is optional. Leaving it blank will have no cooldown. The uncooldown message field is the message that will appear to a player when they attempt to use the chat command again while it's uncooled down. As you can see, it says here type at cooldown to display remains cooldown time. You can write a message like this. Note that this field is also optional. There will be a default message if you leave it blank. Now, the last one is tags permission field. The player must have any of the tags you provide here. To make them have permission to use this chat command, leave it blank to make it able to use it by everyone. Now on this page is the list of commands to execute. Of course, initially, there will be no commands. Let's click the Add Command button to add a new command. Here, where you will type the in-game slash command. The command you write doesn't require to have a slash symbol. Writing it or not won't matter. Delay in seconds field adds a delay time before this command can execute. Leaving it blank will have no delay. And now, as you can see, our command is now on the list. Create chat command button also appeared. This button will only exist if you have at least one command. Written above here says, commands to execute, one out of 30. So, you can add up to a maximum of 30 commands. Let's add another command. As you can see, there's a new option, the condition drop down. It has two options, unconditional and conditional. Unconditional allows to execute command, whether the previous commands executed successfully or not. While conditional will only execute this command. If the previous command was successfully executed, this option works similar to command blocks. Previously, this option didn't exist. Because the first command line don't need it, they can be conditional. You can select the command line to view them. You can see its full detail here, and there are options to edit or delete. If you're all set, Click this create chat command button. Now, the chat command is ready to be used. Let's try it.
As you can see, our chat command works. All commands we write have been executed. Let's try to use it again. As you can see, it says, try again in 18 seconds. Because we set a cooldown for our chat command. And this message is the uncooldown message we set earlier. Players need to wait for cooldown before they can use it again. Let's create another chat command. This time, I'll add some delays to commands. I will add one second delay for each command. As you can see, the commands execute with the delay we set. Now, I'll show you how conditional work. Let's create another chat command. Time skip. Here is what I create. This command line 6 is conditional. So, the command line 5 must execute successfully. In order for the command line 6 to execute, Command line 5 will kill all villagers. So, if there's no villager to be killed, command line 6 won't execute. As you can see, the command line 6 don't execute because there's no villager, resulting in unsuccessful execution of command. So, let's spawn some villagers. So this title can now appear, because command line 6 has been executed. And that's how conditional options work. Now, what if we need to edit the chat command? Type CMD edit to edit chat command. Then close this chat UI. And then all existing chat commands will appear. Select which chat command you want to edit. Then you can now make any changes you want. Let's remove this to see its default message. I'll also enable case sensitive. Hence, case sensitive is enabled. It now needs to type with the right case sensitivity. And this is the default on cooldown message. Type CMD. Delete to delete an existing chat commands. Then select which one you want to delete. The chat command has been deleted. You can no longer use it. As you can see, it's no longer on the list.
Now, I'll show the other CMD commands. Use CMD Reset CD to reset the cooldown of chat commands that are currently on cooldown. As you can see, the Get Apple Chat command is on cooldown. Using this CMD command allows you to reset it so that you can use it again without waiting. Next is CMD list, which is used to show all available CMD commands. Note that all CMD commands can only be used by players with operator permission or has an operator tag. So that's all for today. Stay safe and thank you for watching.